Neurodiversity, the diversity of brains and minds, is a natural, healthy and valuable form of human diversity. And under this social paradigm, there is no normal or right style of human brain or human mind, any more than there is a one normal or right ethnicity, gender or culture. Within this paradigm, those whose behaviour, and thus brains, function in ways that diverge from ideals of neurotypicality are considered neurodivergent, where neurotypicality is the condition from which neurodivergent people diverge. Autistic people are considered a neuro-minority and an individual autistic and neurodivergent person. There are many developmental and mental health differences that are examples of neurodivergence, such as autistic experience, attention differences, dyslexic and dyspraxic, all under the umbrella of neurodiversity, along with neurotypical people. Like everyone, neurodivergent people have strengths and challenges when interacting with the world. For autistic people, some of these challenges relate to sensory processing differences and differences in executive functioning. And while we should all be accommodating of neurodivergent challenges, it's important to remember the strengths too. My personal challenges as an autistic person include social difficulties in understanding other people and having atypical eye contact, which makes social situations anxiety provoking and awkward, which takes a physical toll on my body. I'm also sensory sensitive and particularly touch averse, which is why I shave my head. Psychology attracts neurodivergent students looking to understand themselves. A school questionnaire found that anxiety and being asked to answer questions in class was a barrier to learning. And anxiety occurs for a number of people regardless of neurodivergence type and shouldn't be confused with nervousness. As a teacher, you don't need to know or understand student diagnoses to be able to make your teaching inclusive. There are some simple things you can do to make your seminars more inclusive, which work for a neurodiverse class where it's made up of both neurotypical and neurodivergent students. I use participation cards like those on the screen, where all students choose how they want to participate in that seminar. This may be the same student choice every week or change week to week. Neurodivergent people process the environment differently to those who are neurotypical. This can create challenges, but neurodivergence can also be a strength. There are simple ways we can help students so that they are understood, accepted and accommodated. And part of this is realising your way of experiencing the world is only one of many. Thank you for watching this brief introduction to neurodiversity inclusive teaching.